St. Thomas Anglican Church, Diobu, in Port Harcourt, River State Capital. Incidentally, where the Right Honorable Sir Austin Opera, former Speaker, Nigeria's House of Representatives, Chairman, Abuja Investment Company, had his childhood upbringing, played hills to his friends, family members, and well wishes from different parts of the country and beyond. At the special Thanksgiving service to mark his Golden Jubilee anniversary celebration, it was gratifying to note that the birthday boy gave special preference to that celestial and reverent aspect of the ceremony. This is the father spiritually strengthening him as he enters a very important stage in his life. The prestigious Elders Club, where every move made, action taken, or word spoken, should be guided by divine wisdom. And this can only come from those who have garnered a mixed bag of experiences over the years. Honorable Austin Opera, who comes from a very strong Anglican background, was joined on that special occasion by his wife of 21 years and a judge of the River State High Court, Justice Margaret Opera, and all their five lovely children. Nigeria's First Lady, Dame Patience Jonathan, who is away in Mexico as we speak, was represented at the church service by the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs 1, Professor Vaula Onwuluri. The service was high on the rendition of spiritually uplifting songs. This was provided by the choir and some seasoned soloists. The celebrant, Sir Honorable Austin Opera, OFR, was a knight of St. Christopher, read the first lesson of the service, taken from the book of Leviticus. A jubilee shall that fiftieth year be unto you. Ye shall not sow, neither reap that which goeth of its self in it, nor other graves in it of thy vine undressed. The story of the life of the Right Honorable Sir Austin Opera is a lesson in what the belief in oneself can do to people in any situation. Not known to have come from the privileged background, Honorable Opera worked very hard for all the achievements he has accomplished today right from the very beginning, passing his WAGS exam at age 16, upgraded his academic laurels with an HND degree in marketing from the River State University of Science and Technology, an MBA in the same discipline from the same university, before he headed for the prestigious Harvard University, Boston, Massachusetts, in the United States. Here, he acquired that special academic grounding that puts graduates of that world-renowned university in a special class. Honorable Austin Opera has made a very great success as a key player in the downstream sector of Nigeria's oil and gas industry. As a Deputy Speaker of Nigeria's House of Representatives between 2003 and 2007, at the age of 39 years, Honorable Austin Opera became the youngest occupant of that very exalted office of Nigeria's Green Chambers. It is to the everlasting glory of Honorable Austin Opera as Deputy Speaker Senator Ken Namani as President of the Senate. Today, the period between 2003 and 2007 stands out as the most stable one in the nation's political landscape. Honorable Austin Opera indeed has a lot to thank God for in 50 years of sojourn on earth. In his sermon, the officiating minister testified to the humble and pleasant disposition towards life of the celebrant whom he advised not to let down the garbs, especially now that he had graduated to the age of maturity. He advised them to be closer to God. God called it the idea of true dream. And by so saying, the Jews were told 
especially the people here as the year of liberty, the year of emancipation, the year of freedom, the year to extend blessing, goodness to other people. It's a year of rejoicing. The celebrant, his wife, and the entire family members partook in the Holy Communion, which rolled into the Thanksgiving session. Professor Viola Amulleri, Minister of State Foreign Affairs 1, who delivered the special message of the First Lady, Dame Patience Jonathan, informed the audience that the First Lady is very proud of the sterling achievements of the celebrant and his entire family. She prayed that God will continue to guide him. To congratulate my dear brother, His Excellency, our former deputy speaker of the distinguished House of Representatives, Right Honorable Austin Mapara, for attaining this wonderful age. And I thank his wife, because he's looking very good with me. His wife has been doing the good job. I can see the beautiful children God has adorned him with. Like uh, the preacher said, wonderful grace of God. It's not what anybody is doing. And we're still looking very young there, growing this way, looking joyous. It is wonderful. In the book, when uh, the preacher was talking, he said 50 is the age to begin the day. So we have a newborn baby boy today, according to the preacher, that we are also praying that the new God will put in one higher hands in Jesus' name. The church service ended with the Hallelujah Chorus. Money no be problem. Honey's on the block. Alright, I'm back again. You know what time it is. Straight up. Alright, what's up? Listen. I bought him and then I came and missy man. Be sure like she been on the throw, so we ain't gonna. I come off and I take it in me. Yeah, I'm in Buna. And we sing by reason. I do what you do, you man. Oh, pie boy. What did I do, you bitch, you man? What did I do? Tell my fan, you didn't tell me. Then my man, my dear, never pass you crap, man. And you say me need you, homie, pull me up, man. I shall win you, but I want the young Kong Kong. I just am pie, perfume rice, one gen no. But tell my boo boo, I know. Me need you, tell my mo. I want no jam, I'm a carry. The dinner organized for the celebration of Sir Austin Opera's Golden Jubilee anniversary attracted a wide array of friends of the celebrant with whom he had been associated over the years from different climes and different spheres of life. Before the event formally got underway, some Port Harcourt based musicians kept the audience properly entertained to put them in the right frame of mind. You will love it, Lord, in love.
documentary that gave a detailed insight into the defining aspects of the life of the celebrant was aired at the event. In it, all those who share their thoughts on Austin Upper, who did so in glowing terms, returned the unanimous verdict that Nigerians, especially public office holders, have an important lesson to learn from the celebrant Sir Austin Upper in the appropriate way to conduct oneself in office. This is to properly depict the much touted servant leader slogan. However, the wish of the celebrant's wife, Justice Margaret Austin Opera, for him to become a clergyman resonated loudly amongst the audience. My prayer for him is that God will continue to keep him, to bless him, keep him in good health. And um, I pray that one day, as an Anglican, he will wear the collar. That's by becoming a pastor. My husband will laugh at this, but that's my wish for him. The cake, which was prepared by Mrs. Ifoma Okocha, was cut as former Governor Celestine Omehia coordinating the aspect. J. E. S. U. S. A close friend of the celebrant, Honorable Olaka Wogo, who served in the House of Reps during the same period with him, proposed the toast of the celebrant. May I therefore, to the glory of God and the celebration of the wonderful son of our country, scream with me to say, He be me! There were many more testimonies about the man, Austin Adelio Para, before flavor the current rave of Nigeria's entertainment scene, especially in the south-south and southeast axis, came on to virtually seize by the jugular the entire environment with an all-encompassing explosive performance that kept the celebrant and his wife on the floor for hours before they were joined by others. <laughs> to mark Sir Austin Opara's Golden Jubilee celebration was very interesting. A beautiful package in every ramification of the word. Everyone had a swell time. In the response to the toast by the celebrant Honorable Austin Opera, he thanked everyone who had played one role or the other in the grand celebration of his Golden Jubilee. It began with Mr. President Dr. Goodluck Abele Jonathan and the First Lady Dame Patience Jonathan for their great support. And Austin Opera thanked all his friends who rallied a huge support for him. He prayed that God will meet everyone in their points of need. We enjoyed ourselves. I'm not sure that I could have asked for something more. We've had fun. We've enjoyed ourselves. Again, I want to appreciate all of you, everybody that's here. On behalf of my dear wife and my lovely children, I want to thank all of you and pray that because you have you've celebrated with us, you will always have cause to celebrate your family. Tears of joy will not lack in your family. We are joining our faith with yours. I don't start work. Oh. We are joining our faith with yours to say that God will continue to favor you and bless you. The event ended with the explosive music fireworks from the DJ Jukebox and this gave the younger ones and those young at heart the right atmosphere to do their thing on the floor. We heartily congratulate the latest golden boy in the universe.